All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, change a water pump on a Kenmore washer. I don't know all the technical things about this. I know this is the motor, and then I think over here is the transmission part. But So it's just kind of, you know, it's just the motor, transmission, and then here's the water pump. Okay, this is the water pump. You can see right here how rusty it is and how it started leaking. Um, it's been leaking really bad as of recent, so I think it's gotten a lot worse. Oh, well, it got way worse, but I have to change this out. <clears throat> I've got the new part here, what I just ordered off of uh, uh, Amazon. So here's the new part for it. Um, usually these parts, this part will cost you like a hundred bucks. Um, but if you just order like off of Amazon, you can get a genuine part. I think that was a genuine part, and I think I got it for... Yeah, this is a genuine part. You can see trademark. Uh, I don't know if you can read that right there. Trademark of uh, Whirlpool. Anyway, so this is for the series uh, 336-3394. You can see, I'll show you when I take this off. There's a number, what you can look at. But, yeah, basically this water pump started leaking and we have to change it out so first thing you want to do is probably check your hoses to make sure that that's not where your leaks coming from <clears throat> the hoses here you know all through here just to make sure that that's not where your leaks are coming from and if they are of course then change them out but uh, this is where my problem was you can see where it's all rusted over here and it just started leaking real heavy so uh, flooding our tile out and stuff like that so I need to change it out uh, it's a simple change all you're going to need is like some needle nose pliers and a screwdriver and you're good. Um, first of all, there's just this bracket one here on the other side. You can't see it. There's another bracket like this. All they do is a flip off. Um, you can pretty much flip it off with your hand or you can use a screwdriver. It's up to you. I'm probably just going to use my hand. Um, maybe not. But I don't want to. Whoops. I don't really. I'm going to readjust this so that you guys can still see. But I can't have to get in here right now. Um, yeah, I might have to use a screwdriver. Let's try to flip it with this. Let's see, I'm going to try to my hand better. It's kind of tight in here, so there you go. So all you do is flip it out like that, and then t turn. There's like, it's a, uh, they just clip in. This little part slides in there, and then you just turn it, and then just flip it over, okay? For this uh, particular one, but it's not going to be any much of a, a big change on from washer to washer. I don't think. Um, kind of standard thing, you know, motor, tranny, a water pump, kind of like a car. Okay, so there's that, and then the other side has them too. And let's see if I can just flip it without popping the camera in the way. And that one popped easy. Uh, Okay, so here it is. Here's the other clip. So now all we need is like a get you some pliers or whatever, and then we got to take these these off. So just slide it up like this. This is kind of awkward. I'm hanging out of my garage. Okay, and the other one also is a a bigger line. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide that off. Um, oh shit. Okay. So here it is. Um just has this part what turns in there. This part here, you just hook it uh, put it back on there. And so you can see how rust it is and how it's it's got a kind of a gap. So anyway, so let's change it out with the new one. And let me just make this bag up, rip right into it. It's simple fix. I'm not gonna go spend 300 bucks on a 500 bucks or 600 bucks. Even though she wants me to buy front end loaders, I'm not doing that. I'm going to put this back together, and it's gonna be as good as a new washer to me, anyway. So I'm just gonna have to tell her now we're not getting front end loaders because I'm gonna fix the washer. And I'm not going to spend 300 bucks for a new one like this or go buy $1,000, $2,000 front end loaders. <clears throat> I can spend money on other stuff. Alright, so 
they should just slip right on there. It should just slip right on there for you like that. Uh, let's see. This one might be a little... I don't know if that's fitting on there. Like that one went on. Oh, I guess it is. Just seems like it's... Uh, Yeah, okay, that's it. So we're just gonna do reverse what we did before. Um, maybe I will even put the, at least put this clip on. So we're just gonna put the clip in here and then you put it in and then you twist, twist it back. No big deal. And then just uh, have it slide over. Okay, hear it clip in there. There we go. You guys, it's literally that easy. You would pay a, 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 a service guy to come out here and he would charge you at least a hundo, right? At least a hundred. So, I'm just looking at here and trying to see. Yeah, there's, that slipped on there. Perfect. Okay, so now let's do the other side. The other side might be a little more difficult. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this. Okay, so let me put this other side on. I mean, it's literally that quick of a fix. You know? Instead of going out and buying a brand new one. Even when it comes to like the motor part and all that other stuff, you can probably change them out and keep a washer going for years. You know, this, actually, this washer right here is at least, I think it's 8 to 10 years old. At least. Well, yeah, it is. It's got to be, I think we got one new, after we moved here, we built this house and we, uh, put a new washer in. I think it's 10 years old. So, anyway, at least 8. I'm not going to buy another one. I don't want to buy another one. It won't wa wash. It washes just fine. Um, let's see. So now we're just going to hook up the, the lines. And just got to squeeze them on. Let's start with the fat one first. And most of your washer and dryers are going to have a thin hose line and a large one. This is the large one. So let's put this back over here like that. There we go. And now I'm just going to take the pliers and slide it down over the plastic. Alright, so it holds on when that water is coming through because water is going to be gushing through there. So you want to make sure those are on there tight. You don't want to mess that up. Okay, so same thing here with the smaller one, smaller line. They have little nubs where they stop at, so push the um, the hose all the way down to the little nubs. Can you see those little? Yeah, you can see that little nub right there. So, and same with this hose over here. Slide them all the way down there, and then bring your clamp all the way down. All right. So let's clamp this one. Like so, all the way down. Okay. That one's all the way down, it looks like. All the way far enough. Let me make sure this one's all the way down. I don't want none of, no water coming out. And you guys, it's that easy. How many minutes was that? It probably wasn't even, I don't even know. Um, it didn't take us any time to do that. So here's the old one. Here's the new one. And all I'm just going to do is flip the dryer, the washer over. And uh, test it see how it works it should work just fine I have a problem with the dryer too because the dryer is getting old and it's squeaking real bad so I think it's the bearing in the back so that's gonna be a video too but when we get to that we'll get to that but so here's the washer Kenmore washer oh and here's the part number I was talking about like you can read if you can see it here I don't know if there's when you take yours off there's a part number just go with this part number here put it into your uh, Amazon and uh, it'll pull it up and there's another number up here but it's I think it's just this big one it's the one I used okay 
So, but you'll be able to figure it out. You'll be able to see how they look and everything. This one definitely is this for this one. So, they're universal in a lot of them. So, that's it, you guys. Uh, like my video and uh, subscribe if you like it. Uh, quick, simple fix. Doesn't cost anything. You know, it's just some quick, free information for you guys. All right, you guys have a great day, and thanks for uh, subscribing. Until next time. All right, you guys, I just want to let you see that it's uh, filling up, and we have no water on the tile. That's what I'm talking about. So, there it is, filling up nice and good. I think that's the small, it's trying to get a small load. Activate it. Oh, shit. Not full to a small load yet. There it goes. Okay. So now I'll sit down here and take a look. No, no water. Yeah, quick fix, you guys. Quick fix. Alright, so like my videos and subscribe. That's have a good day. Until next time.